All right. So this person is going after a splinter. It looks like it might be in the toe of a child. Maybe it's their own toe. I can't quite tell. It was disinfected with rubbing alcohol. And that's important. It's disinfected, but it's not sterilized. They're not the same thing. Cameraman needs to focus this a little bit better, but I understand the difficulty. They're going to see if they can get it with these tweezers. I feel like you'd have an easier time just getting it with those nails. Pushing on it, trying to express it. These kind of things hurt so bad. Are they going to be able to get it? Now we're going back with the tweezers. Those tweezers are kind of blunt on the end, and I think they need something with a more fine point. We have very special tweezers that we use for things like this in the clinic if somebody comes in with a splinter, and they're much more fine tipped. Here it goes. All right, they got it on the nail. Check that out. They can be so small, and this is definitely going to feel better. Now the question is, is there anything else left in there? We're going back to C. Doesn't really look like it. Oh, there's a touch there. Okay, got a little more. Now it'd be good to put a little Vaseline on here and cover it with a Band-Aid until that completely heals up. And again, this kind of thing happens from walking around barefoot. It's best to wear shoes if you're gonna be walking around outside. Anything else? Nope, all done.